Hello, everybody, I'm Sinner Free, and welcome back to another episode of the Henry Harko Challenge. So, this is day two. And we did reach an episode, so we did reach Y15, but I'm gonna go to Y12 just to make sure that I never get above 15. So, here, from this moment forth. Yeah, I did a lot of mining and I went the very safe route, but at least I survived. So yeah. We're at Y12. Is that music? Okay, that's music. Okay, the music can probably go up a bit. The 40 maybe. So, first priority is to make a tree room. Down to 30 actually. Yes. So we need a tree room. Um, just because this is my first tree, I'm gonna go with the basic 5x5 five five times. I don't remember how much up you were supposed to do, but. Start death though, unless I find a stable food supply. I do have both dirt and water, so I could start to plant wheat. I could also try to find a cave and kill some zombies or some of meat. Uh, or potatoes or carrots. Any crops really. So I see. So we got two now. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's start seven first. If should I use my iron pickaxe or save it? I make I waste my last pieces of wood for good question. Obviously, I do. I do. I still have enough wood for some, um, for a few more pieces, more pickaxes. I, I'm running out of the, the wood for quick though. Last time I did a tree room though, uh, though I had to manually uh, mine stone, and that took forever. I was in the previous underground challenge. So yeah. And in before that or another time <coughs> when I was underground 
think it was is it the net charge? No, it was the oh, it was the um, what it's called um, the Creator Village Challenge. Was the name of it uh, in which we had to build a desert village, kind of thing. Uh, and I ran out of wood, and I trapped another and planted a tree there. So that's always an option. Um, you can plant trees in Nether. It's actually easier to plant trees in Nether than in the old world, uh, in my, my opinion, or in the underground in the old world, or, or above ground. It's great. Below ground it can be very hard. I think this is enough. We might need to. Well, we might need to extend two more blocks in each direction. It was forever did this. I don't remember exactly how it was. Seven. Man, I can't remember how much space the tree needed. I know the birch trees isn't need much space, so I could probably start planting one of the birch saplings instead. I'm gonna start probably. Yeah, I can't. Spend all my energy doing this. I need to get the farm going as well. <coughs> you put the torch there. That should be enough light. <coughs> Let's put on the team. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> I said I've been a bit ill. As you can hear. I mean, I hope you can grow. Oh man, I hope you grow. Uh, but we need to focus on the other uh, immediate concern, and that is food. That's even more immediate than uh, that's, a, that's even more immediate than uh, anything else, really. I mean. It's only the dirt here, so it's a perfect spot. Oh, more iron. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, my voice is terrible today. Should probably rest after this. I'm more cold. Finding a lot of resources down here. It's the only plus side with being underground. Pretty slow. So we're making a bit of a bunker. Thingy, I suppose. On the ground bunker. Uh, I mean, if I could get carrots from zombies, I could make golden carrots. That would be perfect. That's the best food in the game, really. It's really expensive to make though because it requires, or not really expensive actually, it requires one gold bar. Ish. least one more let's see how do we do this yeah we need five we need five at least okay, so because the immediate concerns right now is wood Food items they have currently is wheat seeds. And waiting for wheat to grow 
is not recommended, but I'm probably gonna have to do that, I'm afraid. Because the amount of energy I'm spending right now is probably gonna end up me starving to death in this challenge. That would be a first actually, because I've actually starved to death in the challenge. I mean, I've been blown up creepers, I've been killed by skeletons, I've been killed by zombies. Been killed by witches, no, not by witches, almost by witches. Um, but I never actually stopped to death. Let's give it five for this one. Oh, redstone. Let me think, make a clock. A clock. But I can't eat redstone. It will be. And you can't eat stone either. The only food items I can get down here is if I find a dungeon, I can find I can get some melon seeds or melon seeds, not eats. Uh, add melon seeds or. Seeds or pumpkin seeds. If I'm lucky, I find a chicken. Get down here. To make a hole, then which means I'm gonna be another piece of wood. Let's make a hole and another stone pickaxe. Make sure the same iron walls for important stuff like. Stone and diamonds. Okay, oh. missed by one. Oh. I just broke my torch as well. Brilliant. Yeah, see my food. Almost halfway. The only way I can, I can not waste any of this. I just sit around waiting for wheat to grow. It's going to be a very boring episode. This I have water and light. So this should grow fairly quickly. This. I would explore the cave if it wasn't above well, age 15. Oh, lapis, the most useful block in the game. Unless I have enchanted it, I don't have much use for it right now.
get it anyway. It makes pretty blue buttons as well. trees and wheat to grow. That's gonna be my day three. Yay! Wheat is my main priority right now because I need food fast. Let's see, 12 seeds makes how many wheat? Um, that is 12 wheat and um, that's four pieces of bread. Please grow faster. Our chapters don't require that much space because most time, most of the time they, they don't have much leaves for most time. I mean you can get really big pear trees as well. They usually kind of hide though. I guess more wood. I'm gonna spend some time with this wall. I'm gonna go and stand around. Because I want to risk start with Okay, this should be enough for the birch tree to go. All the weeds going. Good. Let's just stand on a tear then. Waiting for anything to grow. Probably make a living quarters over there eventually. I'm probably gonna expand this farm. They have everything that they need right here water and light. So we needs to grow fast. More light the better. I think it's like eleven something. Nine. Nine through eleven. Which would be plenty. I'm halfway to starving. Now I just gonna wait. How comes the boiling part? I'm guessing all the others are having similar problems. I mean, last time I challenge we had animals we could breed from food. And we also had all the carrots and potatoes in the wild, so we can actually need stuff farms. And I did manage to survive that one. I'm gonna to try to side this one, but it's gonna be difficult. How much iron did you get? I have eight pieces of iron. That's enough for a chest plate to make. So if you could, I can smelt some, smelt some resources. Yeah, you see it. Six, nine, six, seven, eight. Yes, eight. Yes, enough for a chest piece. We need to take a lot of risks going here. I don't actually need the quartz right now. Wait, they do because they said they tell me on the, this new day. Because until I get a clock 
I could probably make a clock. I should, I should probably make a clock. I mean, I got the gold for it and the redstone, so. And stick for. This I'm not using much energy. Let's make another furnace. Could actually do much with one piece of wood there. Not a tree nor the wheat is gone yet. Oh, it's day three, which means I'm gonna end this episode. Um I hope you guys enjoyed it and see you guys next time. Uh,